Hi, my name's Dave Bronze. I write instrumental guitar music with a Celtic symphonic twist. For my new album, I decided rather than spend £3,000 on a hot rodded Marshall Plexi, I'd make my own. These videos are a diary of that process. Okay, so the first thing when building an amp is you're going to need to find the schematic. So to look at the schematic, you just decide what kind of amp it is you're going to build. Uh, so I Google schematics for this particular kind of hot rodded 100 watt plexi. And the schematic just is literally an electronic diagram of how everything is connected. It doesn't really show you how to build the amp, but it's like... Uh, does help you troubleshoot and figure out how everything's linked together. Once you've done the schematic, you need to think how uh, big a chassis you're going to need. So that's the size of the metal case that the amp is going to go in. So the bigger the amp, the bigger the size of chassis you're going to need. And then you do a layout. So in my case, because this was such a complex amp, I got enlisted the help of uh, Daniel Holmes from Damplifier and he uh, basically did the layout for me which made my job a lot easier. And you're gonna find a lot when you're building amps that you're gonna have to ask for help. But fortunately, there's a huge community online of other people who love building amps who uh, are usually really generous with, uh, with their help. So the first thing, well then when you've done the layout is we can, you're gonna have to build the turret board. The turrets are little pins that all components go onto. And so this next video, we're just gonna dive into just that, building the turret board. See you then. When you've done a rough version of the layout, you can download a turret template off the internet and then you can work out roughly where the components are gonna go, mark up the holes and then drill. So for this uh, part, when you start putting the turrets in, you're gonna need a series of tools. First thing I needed was a metal saw because I had to chop the board down. Uh, it didn't quite fit in the metal chassis, so. I needed that and then you can get these um, turret staking tools so you can get a little block, this tube uh, and then this uh, sort of, I don't know what you call it really, a uh, pin with a beveled edge uh, so that you can uh, put the turrets in. So first thing, uh, we're going to take the guide off but before we do that we're going to, uh, I've written on the back the words back, that's so that when we take uh, the uh, guide off um, we don't get confused and put the turrets in the wrong way around. I'm only saying that because I've actually done that in the past. Um, okay, so we've taken that off. I'm just going to give the back a little sand as well. Uh, and the reason for doing that is because when you drill it, it get, leaves a bit of um, sort of residue behind that makes the turrets not quite sit right. Okay, right, so we're ready to put our turret in. So put your turret into your turret tool. Um, I got mine uh, from ampmaker.co.uk, just google turret staking tools and you'll, you'll find it. I'm just going to rest it here, put it through the hole and then um, the turret should just sit proud of the, the board. So you get the, the flared end of the pin and you just get your hammer. And, oh, and then make sure you're not doing it on the kitchen table. <laughs> I'm using the chopping board. And just hammer it in like this. Okay, don't hit it too hard because you don't want to damage the, uh, the board. But that's in, there we go. Got the turret uh, in. Oh, I don't believe it. I've done the thing not to do. I've put the turret in right back to front. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. I'll have to drill that one back out, that's so funny, I can't believe I've just literally live on camera done a thing I advise you not doing. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so there we have it, the turret board is built. That took me about half an hour, so you can see why manufacturers don't really like making uh, handmade turret boards and they'd rather go for PCBs, printed circuit boards, because it does take quite a while. But it's done now and so next we need to uh, load in the, uh, all the components. Uh, well, and I need to remove the first turret that I put in, that I put in upside down like a Muppet. 
cool, great. Uh, see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget to check out DaveBronze.com, spelled with an S-B-R-O-N-S. Check out my music, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.